Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in. We need some wheels.
You never took no shit. Never made no compromises. You're lost. You are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker and tell the devil. Save his best for him. in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state.
So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story? About that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt, despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side with alcohol work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls and the... Oh, shit. Oh, oh. We're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on I find maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. Now keep going. This one's a right. Just keep on a minute. This is the place, I think it is at least. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck.
wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, and stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> ah, a pair of fruitcakes. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Uh, 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 uh. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner, but I uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabienne. <sighs> good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, a, uh, she's, a, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Oh, she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. Hey, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Rock, raw kale, fish oil. Hit me up on life. Rock, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and they don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag, Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Sees me there. I didn't ask for a blow by blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't tea me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pear, okay? too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga. Or cock therapy. I'm a crank. Cannibalism. An incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can Bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around. Whoa, dude, you do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine, do what the fuck you want. What? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Come on, come on, come on. These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. <laughs> Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter, bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a. Uh, dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three. Two, one, 
All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Look at that. I was stuff a 20 in this. Oh! Can you fucking do something about this? <laughs> all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Hey! hey, hey, hey I got security! Security! No. What'd you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Right there. No. Come on! Fuck no. oh. no. Come here, you little shit! No. Go home, right now, Tracy! Come back here! They took our ride, we take their truck. Get in the truck, Michael! I don't have any boots on. Stay away. What in the world? I got a deposit on that truck! What in the world? We're running that trip down. Look! He went left! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting! Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. <laughs> fucking Laszlo! I knew he was an asshole. <laughs> Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. Hey girl! He went left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with it, but let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? We gotta go to the left. It's me. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Oh, hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head! And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. 
What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll dance. Good. <laughs> all right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on, lower, oh, lower, oh. come on. Oh. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right. come on, no. get up. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. Get it, get it. I just got that bike! Somebody stop that guy! That asshole took off my bike! Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh! Screw this. This shit ain't worth it. Hola? Seriously, you saved my ass. Ah, forget it. I gotta pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. What's going on? All right, come on, come on, out!
I'm really no trying. seas gilipollas. Watch it, ¿ok? You must get fucked up. Pues si quieres palizas, vale. Listen, Kat. See, I don't want to shit with you. You heard? Davey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coronet. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Might be in the other room. Come on. Give it up! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. This 
horses! You hear me! Fuck you, dick! Look out! I've got your number! Stupid asshole! Should have stayed on the slab. Stop. You don't... This building is airtight! Just let me go! You're dead! We got an injury. It's stable. Stable. He's in my head. You are this close to being shot. Hey, I already died once today. Man down. Man down. Here I go. Cover! Lozano's hit. Shit. Lozano's hit. I don't know what's going on here, but I want the fuck out. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick. Meet me at those oil derricks just outside town. Rural Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave. The hell was that? 
You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the Agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. my back to be part of this club? I bet none of you pussies even know how to hey, fight! you can't be a fucking prick like that! Blow me! Fuck you! I'm gonna break your face! Fuck. You fucking not right, Holmes.
Trevor is a... The Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. That's it, ain't it, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right. Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam... He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Oh, no. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're gonna have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I always work a stick in the mud. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. Dummy! They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order? My butt gone The book's waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, shift's about to start. I can bench press you with one. Here comes the suit. Oh, yeah. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong, real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth. It matters what came out. We got a waste spillage, and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. He started getting weird about all the money we make down here. Get in there. How it ain't right. Screw him. Yeah, screw him. We all get that. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that can pick up a whole container? 
Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. It's those containers. Baby. Please. Just don't. Clamp it on now! Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Trevor! get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. And attach it. Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... <laughs> with the... With the say no more. You didn't fellat no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. 
Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First up, position the cabin over a container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. That's it. You're in position. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. Keep going, keep going! There's the truck. Set it down gentle. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Container's locked. Haul that freight. And you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Get back down to the other end! Line up the second red container at the end. thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. We can use the big rig. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? 
Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead end job. What? Dead end? No. Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. No understand you. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Hey, must have got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, you must have just read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, oh, yes. You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, so Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it, and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're so guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Cry. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get Show back to work. Up. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, Good. yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. Show in the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? Did, did you get what you needed? 
Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. Huh? That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. And there, perfect. All right, so based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? <laughs> Aight, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved, and he can put us in touch with some local talent. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, I... You're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bags! 